Punk Revolution. Now, today we're gonna be reviewing Boris's new album, No. They literally titled the album No like a bunch of trolls, but I'm gonna review it and I'll tell you if it's good. So first off, Kind of a mindfuck that I'm reviewing a Boris album in 2020, given that this band has been around since the 90s. They've, they've been a band for nearly 30 fucking years now, and they have an extremely impressive discography. Experimental metal, doing all sorts of crazy shit from drone metal, to doom metal, to sludge metal, to stoner metal, to noise rock, to post rock, to even freaking, freaking dream pop, and they're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Crazy fucking discography. And once again, they are blowing our minds by releasing a fucking punk album. It's a punk album. Of course I'm gonna review this. I'm so excited. Let's fucking start by taking a look at the album cover. I'm gonna be entirely honest. I do not know what this album cover really means. It looks like the letter U, which I think is pretty badass looking. It looks pretty fucking hard. Okay, the red and black colors are very bold, but I don't really know if there's any significance to the letter U here. But uh, I think at the bottom there is uh, Japanese for Boris, but I do not know because I do not write Japanese. But it's sick. It's cool. Let's talk about the music. So this is fucking exciting as hell for me because Boris. Ah, you know, Boris, they've just, they've just touched on so many different genres throughout their career, but this is the first time that they've ever really dove in and released an album that is primarily punk, and I think it's fucking sick, I think it makes a lot of sense, and, you know, like, let me just try to explain why this album just seems like, it, it just feels like this makes so much sense to me, okay? So first off, if you're not aware, Japan has a very rich output of really awesome, noisy rock music, okay? They have, Japan has a fucking ton of amazing noise rock. Japan has a ton of amazing noise, you know, like harsh noise, like Merzbo. And of course, Japan has also a fantastic output of really awesome, old school, hardcore punk that is noisy as fuck, much noisier than what you're gonna find in Europe and the United States in the same time period. And, you know, just Boris has always seemed like a, a logical continuation of Japan's really noisy musical output in rock music. It's, it's, it's sick, okay? I mean, of course, the Boris is always incorporating noise in some way, shape, and form in their music, whether it's just like crazy shoegaze breakdowns that are super noisy or insane guitar solos that are just like, just, just a ton of feedback fucking roaring everywhere. Boris is a noisy band, okay? And I, 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 I just, I just know that the Japanese hardcore output of, uh, it has certainly influenced Boris, but this seems to be the first time they've ever put it at the forefront of their music. Okay, they're primarily gonna dive into those influences and they clearly know what the fuck they're doing because they captured the authentic old-school hardcore sound so well. It sounds so angry. I love the, the the group vocals chanting just feels like such a fucking classic hardcore thing to do. Okay, I love the rhythms, the speed, the aggression. It rips. I love the guitar solos that slide in there that are just like super noisy. You can barely even follow what's going on. Feels a little bit like the uh, band High Rise, another classic Japanese noise rock band you should definitely check out. To amplify the noisiness of this album is the fact that Boris is still maintaining their signature guitar tones. Okay, Boris has a very distinct guitar tone here. We're talking about a fucking Les Paul through an orange amp. Just such a massive, crazy, uh, just powerful, powerful metal tone, very sludgy. So you got the metal tones, the metal guitar tones and metal production, but still, you know, in terms of the rhythms they're playing and the speed and the sounds and chord progressions, this is a punk album. So it's really cool. It's, you can, it's, it's, it sounds like, it sounds exactly what you'd expect of Boris playing freaking old school, hardcore punk, and it's a lot of fun, okay? Very cool. But I will say, folks, you know, as, as fun as this album is, it really doesn't bring anything new to the table, kind of whatsoever. I see Boris, you know, like, you know, they, 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 they took some risks here with putting in some, like, kind of sludgy songs, you know, at the very beginning and in the middle and some sort of, like, kind of, like, more interlude -y song at the very end. Um, these choices don't really do anything for me besides kind of make me feel like the album is, it kind of just slows the album down. And in between these kind of slower songs, they're just... Hardcore punk songs that, like I said, just, you know, don't really do anything new to the genre. So, wish there was a little bit more experimentation here to take this album somewhere uh, a little bit more interesting with the genre. Uh, I would rather, honestly, just go back and listen to some, like, fucking 90s old school Japanese hardcore. Like, freaking check out the album Tragedy by Disclose. Now, that is a fucking, uh, you know, raw as fuck album. I'd rather be listening to something, like, raw like that rather than, um, than this. Even though this is still fun. It's still a fun album. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. Totally enjoyable, totally fun. Don't really want to give it anything else higher than a 7, though, just because I don't feel like it really brought anything 
super interesting to the table to make it stand out in a sea of hardcore that already exists. But it's cool, very exciting to see Boris trying something new, doing something really cool, finally tapping into their punk influences and doing a pretty good job at it too. Cool album. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Boris is fucking awesome. Punk Revolution now!